on-site surgery, an error in the operating room again. This most recent incident of wrong site surgery shows there's still work to be done. And three instances where blood was drained from the wrong side of a patient's head. For some reason, the surgical checklist in every operating room didn't prevent the mistake on Jesse, even though the hospital says the doctor drew a circle around his right eye. The purpose of the timeout is to ensure patient safety and prevent wrong site surgery. All activity in the operating room comes to a stop before the first incision when the surgeon, demanding everyone's undivided attention, announces the timeout is about to begin. Let's do the timeout All now. the team members participate in the timeout and share information they collected during their pre-procedure interviews with the patient. You will see our nurse, anesthesiologist, and surgeon interviewing the patient, Mr. Peter Simpson, and verifying his identity and that he is about to undergo knee replacement surgery on his right knee. They will bring this information into the operating room and together, during the timeout, confirm the correct patient is having the correct procedure on the correct site and side. My name is Sheila. I'll be your nurse for today. Thank you. Mm. What's your name? Peter. Peter Simpson. And your date of birth? Here's the nurse confirming the patient's identity, and the anesthesiologist does the same. Hi, Mr. Simpson. My name is Dr. Navin. I'll be your anesthesiologist today. Thank you. All right. I just have to ask you your name and your date of birth again, just okay. like before. So can you tell me that, please? Sure. I'm Peter Simpson. My After the anesthesiologist confirms the patient's identity, the surgeon does the same. Simpson, how are you today? Okay, Doc. I'm just a little anxious, you know? Now, I know we know each other for a long time, but I need to check your name and date of birth on yes. your ID band, okay? Okay, great. So, what's your name? Peter Simpson. And what's your date of birth? March 26th. Each team member will be armed with the information they collected individually to make certain there's no discrepancy. All three members of the team have collected identical information, and they'll continue to do that during the process preparing for timeout to bring this information with them into the operating room. Hello everyone, Dr. Nevin, Sheila, Will. Okay. So let's do the timeout now. Okay, okay Doc, we're ready. So this is uh, Peter Simpson, date of birth, March 26, 1950. He's going to have a right knee replacement. Okay, Sheila, what's the patient's name, date of birth? The patient's name is Peter Simpson. His date of birth, March 26, 1950. And what's the planned procedure on the site on the side? He's to standardize the process and reduce the chance of errors, the surgeon reads questions from the timeout script for the RN, the anesthesiologist, and himself exactly word for word as they're written on the script. Great. Uh, Dr. Erwin, describe the plan for airway management and anesthesia. For airway management, we're going to be doing uh, under general with uh, intubation. And any units of blood required for the surgery? No blood required. Uh, any need for prophylactic antibiotics? Uh, we're going to be given one gram of an ANSA. Great. And describe the patient's identification, date, and right or left orientation and x-rays. We reviewed that together. We reviewed that. Great. Are beta blockers required during the procedure? No beta blockers. Great. Timeout is done. I'm going to go out and scrub. Okay, let's do the confirmatory timeout. This is Mr. Peter Simpson. He was born in March 26, 1950, and we're going to do a right knee replacement. Sheila? Yes. Peter Simpson, date of birth March 26, 1950 and he's going to be having uh, right knee replacement done. Dr. Navin? Uh, Peter Simpson, March 26, 1950, right knee replacement. Great, let's begin. Before we move the drapes, let's do the sign out. Dr. Atala, what procedure was performed? Performed a right knee replacement. Any critical events or equipment problems? No. Sheila, now the instrument, the sponge, the shot count? Yes. Was it correct? Yes. Now, Dr. Naveen, um, what is your recovery, your management plan at this point? We're taking him over to the back here.
little Jen. Hey. Your father's surgery was a success. Everything went fine. We expect this is Jen. Uh, hey. Jen, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. How are you feeling? Oh, uh, a little dry mouth, but I'm okay. I'm glad it's over. How was it? I was anxious, a little nervous, but the doctors and the nurses here, they were so good. They made me feel safe. 